what's up guys this is julius again from ojas web digital solution in this video i'm going to show you how to install the google global site tag on your shopify website and at the end of everything i will also show you how to track the actual conversion value from your shopify store so in my google ads account i will go ahead and select two then conversions now from the conversion page i have some conversions already configured for this account but for this purpose, we're going to create a new conversion action. Now I selected conversions and we have four options. The first option to the left is website conversion. And that is what I'm going to choose for this purpose. So I selected website. And the first thing I say here is the category of the conversion. For the Shopify website, we want to track purchases on the website. And that is what I'm going to choose here. The next section, I have to give this conversion action a name. And for this, I want to use the Shopify conversions. Now I have chosen a name for this particular conversion action. And the next thing is to select value for the conversion actions. I can use same value for each conversion and I can use different value for each conversion on this particular action. But for me, I want to use different value and that is what I'm going to select. Right now, I have the default conversion value as one euro. I'm going to go ahead and configure this later and you'll be able to see how I configure the action to be able to track the actual conversion value from each purchase on the website. That is fine. And the next thing is to select how I want this conversion to be count. I want to count every conversion that comes from a particular user on the website and that is okay. The next thing here is the conversion window. It's left as 30 days. That is fine. I'm going to leave everything here as it is and I will click on create and continue so after clicking on create and continue so the next thing here is for me to select how i want to install the tag on my website i want to install the tag myself so i will go ahead and click the first option to the left now i selected that i will leave it as html and i will choose the install the global site tag on the website so this is the global site tag i'm gonna go ahead and copy this tag and head over to my shopify website where I will install the global site tag before I continue to install the conversion, which is the event tracking code. Right now, I selected this code and I will right click and I will copy it. So we are done here at the moment, but that is not the end of the setting in our Google Ads account. I will go straight to my Shopify website now where I will install the global site tag. Right now, this is my Shopify website. I want to install the code on. So the next thing I will do here is I will go to my online store. From my online store, I want to select the team. So from the team page, I will go ahead and click the small drop down here and select edit code. Now I selected edit code. I will allow the page to load. Once the page is fully loaded, I will go ahead and look for team liquid. Team dot liquid. So as you can see, this is the team liquid. It's also open on my dashboard, but if you are coming for the first time, you can go ahead and use the search option here and you select the team liquid. Now the team liquid is open on my dashboard. So if you go back to the Google Ads account to see where the code is to be installed, you'll see it's supposed to be installed in between the head tag. So I'll go ahead and search for head on this particular dashboard. I'll click Control F on my window device, I will search for closing head tag. So I want to install the code before the closing head tag on this particular team. So I will install the code here, I will give a space, then I will copy this code once again and paste the code here. Now I have pasted the global site tag on the team liquid. So I will go ahead and click save. So the asset has been saved and that is fine. So the next thing I will do now is to install the event snippet on the website. This is the event snippet. I want to install this on a particular page on the website and I want it to fire when the page is loaded. So I will click on this and I will right click and copy the code. Now I will go back to the settings on the Shopify website where I want to install the event code. Right now I will click on setting then from the setting page, I want to install this code in the checkout page. Now I click on the checkout and I will scroll to the bottom on this page to see where I will install 
this particular code right we have the option to install additional code on this particular bus so i will go ahead and expand this and see if the code has already been installed it is not installed yet i will go ahead and give this a space and i will install the code now the code has been installed event snippet for shopify conversions and that is what i want to do so i have pasted the events code from my google as account on this page i will go ahead and save it by the way that is not the end of this configuration right now we have the setup to track conversion value as one euro but for me i want to track the actual conversion value but the interesting thing is i want to track conversion value excluding tax and the shipping rate because those two values are different from my actual conversion value so i want to track the actual conversion value excluding the tax and the shipping rate so i have a code snippet in my notepad and i'm going to copy this particular line of code and paste it in the event tracking snippet so i copy the code and go back to the event installation page and from here you see the value as one so i will replace everything in this line with the code i just copied from my notepad and i will go ahead and click on save now i have been able to save this setting and i have completed the conversion tracking for this particular shopify website so from now on we will be able to track the actual conversion value from this website if you go back to google you can go ahead and click on next and click on done now it will take some time for google to verify that the conversion tracking has been correctly installed on the website this might be up to 24 hours it may be faster and this will be verified once the google spiders visit the website and be able to identify the global site tag and the event code this is how you can go ahead and install the google global site tag on your shopify website install the event code and track the actual conversion value for your shopify website i believe you've learned one or two things from this video and if you like the video feel free to give us a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching the video once again and bye for now